scarlet. <laughs> uh, thank you, Father, for that. Um, good afternoon. Uh, I am excited and humbled to stand before you today. Before I get into a few of my comments, I would like to recognize several people. Let me start by recognizing my beautiful wife, Jessica, and our daughter, Scarlett, who just left. Uh, you are my inspiration and my drive, and we are a team, and I thank you both for your love and support. My parents made the trip up from Raleigh, North Carolina, Virginia and Matt Jarman. Thank you uh, for all you have done for me in instilling the values that I saw you both live each and every day. You've been the best role models a son could ask for, so thank you. My father-in-law, Jerry Johnson, and my sister-in-law, Katie Beard, thank you for being here for us and for all of your encouragement. I'd also like to thank one of my college teammates and roommates, Scott Lancaster, for being here. Now, he is a diehard UNC fan, but I think that's going to change now, Scott. <laughs> I'd also like to thank Father Leahy, the Board of Trustees, and university community members who I got to know during this past month. Also, I would like to thank all of the great people that have touched this athletics program. There are too many to recognize now, but I appreciate all that you have contributed to BC Athletics. And finally, I want to acknowledge Ohio State, and in particular, Gene Smith. His mentorship and friendship has been invaluable to me. Let me share a little bit about my vision for Boston College Athletics. Our goal is twofold, to help develop the academic, athletic, spiritual, and social dimensions of our student athletes, and to win. We have a wonderful opportunity and calling to lead inspire and form our young men and women each and every day. It is our shared responsibility as teachers, mentors, and coaches to give our student athletes the best chance to be successful when they leave the heights. My experience as a student athlete and then as an administrator in the Big Ten for the past 15 years has taught me that the most successful teams have a vision, a shared vision, and they develop themes that support that vision. Three themes that we will emphasize in this athletic program are passion, alignment, and competitive excellence. First, passion. Passion is contagious. It spreads and it is the fuel that builds momentum. We need passion and energy among all our staff and coaches in all that we do. Second is alignment. As an athletics department, university, and the BC community at large, we all must understand our shared goals and the roles each of us play that is required to win. It's easy to be aligned when things are going well. Not so much when challenging times occur. We will sometimes experience both, yet we must stay aligned. And finally, competitive excellence. Winning requires vision, preparation, focus, and commitment. Our vision is for consistent, competitive excellence in all that we do. We need to be the most prepared team. We need to be focused on the process. The details do matter. And we need a relentless commitment to what it takes to win. I shared my philosophy and goals for BC Athletics. And now let me share a little bit about who I am. First and foremost, I am a husband and a father. I believe in integrity, humility, and the pursuit of excellence. These are the foundations from which I lead and I will serve. I've been blessed to work with, be around at the very best of the best. And it is for those reasons that I am humbled and honored to serve Boston College as your athletics director. Our university is among the very best in the world. I see opportunity for BC Athletics. 
and what we can be. Our shared commitment will bring us to new heights, and I look forward to doing something special together. We will do the work. Go Eagles. Thank you.